Are you good? No, I'm not good. I'm not good. I'm alive, I, and I'm live, but I'm going to tell you right now, I am not good. Anyway, uh, but I'll explain to you why. This is part of the broadcast where I tell you a little bit about my personal news. Um, it's 74 degrees and rainy here in Los Angeles, California. Um, this is part of the broadcast where I tell you a little bit about my personal news. I ended the broadcast last night, and I actually was able to put Starfield on my steam deck and it actually runs uh shouts out to mudahar ordinary gamers for helping me with that um one i put the steam deck on beta updated it numerous times steam deck has a personal update specifically for starfield it was originally not running it would just like have this black screen bug which sucked uh it would have a black screen bug which sucked and then i updated it put the steam deck os on beta updates and it had a specific day one update for starfield which i did Loading screens are long, but whatever. Listen, it's funny because, like, the Steam Deck will just randomly be like, oh, it's a PC now. Like, the game thinks I'm on a PC. Basically, um, it works, which is kind of cool. I mean, the fact that I can play, the fact that I can actually uh, play on the Steam Deck is pretty fire. I love that. Anyway, that's what I did. I watched One Piece uh, live action. One more episode or two more episodes is still pretty good. Um, and this morning I woke up and I walked Kaya for 20 minutes. Walked Kaya for 20 minutes. And let me tell you, it's raining a little bit, right? And this dog does not know that she needs to pee outside or poop outside. I walked her for 20 minutes. I walk back. I'm on the computer for a brief moment. She's not around me. And I'm like, what's going on? And then I realize she ran upstairs. I run upstairs behind her. She peed in the same spot again. She keeps peeing in the upstairs hallway. I don't know why. Yeah, she just keeps... It's the smell. She thinks she can, like, pee up there. She's completely relapsed. Um, 20 minutes of walking. I think it's because I have two... I have two dogs in the house now. You know what I mean? Think about that. Like, she's used to being the only dog. Now there's two. So... Uh, with Fiona, I think she like, I have, I have used the bleach. I've used the enzyme cleaner. Come on guys. You say no potty inside. When you go outside, you say good girl potty outside. Simple as I know. Uh, um, parents home, another dog in the house and, and it like it, she's regressed, which happens. It's, it's a thing that happens. I have to bring her in here in a second. Um, but, uh, yeah, it sucks. It's not great. I don't even understand what this dog is doing. Fiona makes the weirdest noises, man. I'm so annoyed right now. Hey! Neither of you will get it if you keep fighting over the toy. Okay? Neither of you will have it if you keep fighting over the chew toy. I'm telling- Kaya! Come here. Hold on. That's right. Out of chair. You don't have the toy. That's it. Don't know how to behave. Now it's my toy. Look what you did. Play nice. Kaya just got big dog by the big dog himself. I mean, she's been unbearable. She's been a gigantic menace. I'm not gonna lie. Especially with like the peeing and she's mad because she wants to see her real parent, right? No. No. She's mad. Because she's a baby and she's starting to regress and because there's like my parents are here and Fiona is here So she's like she's broken her routine. She had a we had a very good routine Take her out in the morning take her out to work out in the morning or walk her Okay There's too much stimuli now So she's like overstimulated and and basically has regressed and is uh, losing it a little bit Not losing it but like just lashing out in like very annoying ways I mean, it seems like she doesn't seem unhappy, but I don't know. Maybe she's bored. No, there is no, she is not bored. Chatter. She has girl autism. Have some compassion. I, I unironically thought there was something wrong with her brain because like I was doing everything right and she was still not getting it for the longest time. But I think she's just like, she just then one day magically fixed it. And now one day she has magically broken it. She doesn't like the split attention. She thinks if it makes a mess, she'll get more attention. Guys. Stop trying to parasocially analyze my dog. Uh, I think she's, I think it, the, the answer is much more simple. Okay. I think the answer is much more simple. I think that, 
given the chaos in the household with all the things that are shifting and changing, uh, she has regressed because she doesn't know what to do. She has regressed because she doesn't understand that it is now like her schedule is still the same. Um, Kaya's situation is not great. I've been eating really well and yet I'm like gaining way rapidly. I don't know what's going on. I'm not even like eating that much. I eat like the one meal that my dad makes which is like weight and everything. And then at night, I don't even eat like a second meal. I just have a protein shake and I'm gaining weight. It's just like, I don't look like I'm gaining weight and I'm taking creatine. So it might be that like I'm retaining way more water or something because you're not eating enough. You're tanking your metabolism. My metabolism is already tanked. I can't tank it further. I mean, there isn't much more going on in my life other than that, other than what I just told you. Uh, as far as personal news goes, that's it. No way IGM rated Cowboy Bebop live action higher than One Piece. Wait, what? There is 0% chance that that is what happened. What? Netflix's One Piece's entertaining adaptation is that's hindered by a desire to recreate every major event found in its source material. Okay, this is like, you have to be on crack to think this. Okay, let me, let me explain something. I don't know why IGN does this, but I it's got to be on purpose, right? Oh, look at them. They're playing. They're playing. They're playing good. They're playing nice. That's great. Right behind me. Do you see them? Every event, bro, it was so succinct. One thing that I've been thinking of with respect to with respect to uh One Piece live action is that like I can't I can't remove the part of my brain that is like a One Piece uh anime manga fan first, right? Like so I don't know I don't know if like the pacing is bad or if the pacing is good. If you're a One Piece fan, I think a lot of people probably watch the adaptation and go, oh, I get what they're doing. This is a very faithful adaptation that tries to, uh, tries to streamline an incredibly dense work, right? So that's why they're just like kind of blasting you with as much new information and new characters as possible. Obviously, the anime is always going to be much better, but One Piece anime is awful pacing, so it shouldn't be too hard. No, but what you fail to realize is there's so many uh, like plot points and so many characters interwoven into the story that it is very difficult to give you a full grasp of everything that's going. Guys, we're talking about trying to make a Western-facing live-action adaptation for one of the longest works, one of the longest running works. I thought that the pacing was good. Did you get to the Mihawk introduction? I did. So like they do stuff like uh, they, they change some of the fight sequences, but they still get you to see Mihawk. They still show the Mihawk like slice, which is I think one of the best introductions of a character of all time. Cause like, that's the first time you see someone that is that powerful in the anime. So like, I thought that I, you know, like the relationship with it between Nami and, and the, the Straw Hat Pirates is like a little bit different than what it normally is like. You know what I mean? It's, it almost feels like she's flirting with Zoro a little bit at certain points. But in, even then, it's like, it's fine. I understand why they're, why they're showing everything the way they're showing it, you know? Yeah, Mihawk cutting Craig's ship. Uh, in the beginning is like an incredible opening sequence for him, right? There's going to be some of your favorite. There's always going to be some of your favorite moments in the live action that is not going to be fully represented because it's impossible to. Anyway, I think even if you're not a fan of One Piece, you can literally look at this and go, this is this is a sources, sources cited crack meme right here. Not only, not only because like the One Piece is, I think the live action is a fairly faithful adaptation that's pretty good but also because more importantly than that netflix cowboy bebop season one is trap like it's not even this is illegal you know what i mean like giving netflix cowboy bebop season one review a seven has to be illegal like you should go to jail for that i am not i am not a a free speech defender by any metric Okay, I am not a free speech defender. I do not defend free speech. You should go to jail if you give Netflix Cowboy Bebop season one a seven. Underscoring One Piece is one thing, okay? But this, this is not allowed. You can't do that. You need to go to jail. Like this is a jailable offense. I don't think it sucks. Seven doesn't suck. Chat, you can't on the one hand be like, wow, I can't believe they gave Netflix's Cowboy Bebop season one review a seven and then also get mad that like seven sucks okay this seven is is 
above average. It's not bad. It's not bad at all. Pretty sure it was two different reviewers with two different opinions, so I'm not sure why you're upset. Yeah, my friend, that's why I'm separating this from this. I think you misunderstood what I'm saying. This as a standalone is illegal, okay? This is a standalone illeg illegality, okay? This is illegal behavior, flag on the play. <laughs> You're going to jail. You're going to jail. You can't do... You can't hit me with the Netflix Cowboy Bebop season review is, is seven. <laughs> like that's, I don't care about this. This could be totally different than this. You know what I mean? A different reviewer or whatever. I don't care about that. You know, you can have your opinions. This jail objectively. Okay. This is a criminal act. You have been halt. You have broken the law. You have misinformed the 1000 people that actually read the review. Okay. 1000 people accidentally were forced to to see something that they would not have seen because you said that this was good, okay? Do not pass go. Do not collect $200. Is jail for you. <laughs> when I finished Cowboy Bebop on Netflix, I was feeling like a victim. Brother, you were a victim, okay? You were. Why did you do that to yourself? Like, not the victim blame, but also you maybe should go to jail too.